today for the United States. No longer are independent. Our independence is gone. We have given it up. We believe the press now. We no longer think on our own. Politicians come and go saying this or that. And we believe the last one that we heard completed their campaign promises. At one time, we thought for ourselves, we fought for our freedom. We no longer fight. We let ourselves be led around by rhetoric, not actions. We don't even see the actions when the mainstream press doesn't report them. We no longer wonder why certain things are not in the press. Our independence is gone. We are so keen to believe a need to believe that everything is fine. There was a time when each state thought about the independence of its neighbor from Great Britain. Now, each state receives news from the mainstream press, which is owned by the moneyed interests in this country. And the mainstream press is interested in readership and making people feel good or tugging at their emotional strings. And the people who are in power in this country, power in this country now means money, power to buy stories, the power to buy news media, corporations. What used to be distributed power among the colonies and, the, and states and local populations. Now, because of TV and radio owned by corporate entities controlled and owned by the people with money and the people with power both have the same ends. One wants to increase their money at, in every way possible, and that's the only criterion for their success. And the people in power politically, militarily, socially, congressional, etc., will do anything and say anything to retain and gain their success. Politicians write for demographics, saying one thing to one demographic, the labor and saying one thing to another business. And people wonder why politicians can't, they simply can't fulfill contradictory promises. 
and we don't even notice. We are so keen on wanting to believe that democracy is alive. How can democracy be alive when it's buried in ignorance and blindness and lack of self-awareness, lack of the exercise of the ability to assess for oneself the conditions that we are in. But now we accept mass media's interpretation, whether it's economically or politically or socially. We have given up and abandoned our thinking ability. And we celebrate independence from Great Britain on the 4th. But now, mass media, politicians, and the money interest in this country are the Great Britain of today and the future. And those interests celebrate the 4th from the independence of the yoke of critical thinking by the masses. Gerbil could never have done such an amazing thing as he did in Germany. His efforts have been well studied. We, the people in the United States, can no longer think for ourselves. We don't want to be uncomfortable. We can't believe that we're being betrayed intentionally by those in various seats of power, whether it's money or political ends. Yet has been repeated so many times in history. And now, once again, our country will be led into ruin by those wanting power and wanting money as their sole criteria of success. A country of population cannot flourish when it's being led by greed and by the ignorance of the population allowing that to happen. And we celebrate independence. Today, we are independent of thinking for ourselves. Marching in the streets in parades today, in celebration, in celebration of the past true God of success, now just an empty concept. And we revel and make fun and joyous celebration in the streets to the throne of democracy, which is now empty. It has now been assumed by the mass media, the scepter of the emperor of greed for power, for money, demand of the public to be comfortable to go the easy way and not think for ourselves. What are we celebrating today then? 
empty memories of a time gone. How many years, how many hundreds of years now has it been gone? And the general public has slipped further and further abdicating their responsibility and their ultimate success. And yet, if you speak the truth today, the general public will condemn you and call you a heretic and unpatriotic. If you speak the truth today, you'll be shunned and people will ignore you and criticize you and get angry with you because you run contrary to their assumptions that they cling to. How can a country be successful when there's nobody in the driver's seat but greed and personal self-interest of the population at large? Not everyone is like this, but what hope is there to wake people who want to be asleep and are willing to withstand such adverse circumstances as exist in this country? without solving the problems, the basic problems, social, economic, political in this country. We don't allow ourselves to do this. We don't even notice that we're doing this. What hope is there for this country then? And what exactly and why are we celebrating today? An informed population where people get their own news, their own information on their own, make their own personal decisions. But it is the foundation of success of any group that each member thinks for themselves. What are we celebrating today? What are we celebrating today? Why? A country on the verge of bankruptcy, overwhelming debt, no clear plan to pay it off, environmental catastrophe looming, no clear thinking, no clear plan to pay off the accumulating environmental debt and social catastrophe, the poor in this country growing by the decade after decade, drug usage, crime, greed in every individual for their self-interest, just to watch out for themselves, very little social Awareness, racism, religious intolerance, religious fanaticism. The U.S. population has a millstone of ignorance 
and lack of self-awareness around its neck. It is drunk and it is not aware of its circumstances and the condition that it is in. What then are we celebrating today? What do we have left to celebrate? Where are the foundations? Where have the foundations gone that would give us and lead us to success? If Patrick Henry were alive today, saying, give me liberty or give me death. To see how people define liberty today, what would he think about having sacrificed his life for what is happening today in America? And yet, the fervor for patriotism in this country is at a very high level. And what are we fighting for now under this definition, our present definition and condition of what we accept as our liberty? Now, the truth that is self-evident is that we demand our right to be comfortable, to believe what we believe. And any time one believes so fervently, it shuts down and obliterates the ability to gather more information that's contrary to one's belief. What are we celebrating for? Today, when that is gone, we have given it up because our need to believe, to preserve our belief so we preserve our comfort. We can no longer stand the discomfort of new information. What then are we celebrating today? vacuous hopes, vacuous dreams, drunk on good feeling, relief, drunk, drunk, drunk. Hold your glasses high as we celebrate the fourth and sip the goblet that is now reality in reality is empty and we don't even notice I'm celebrating the fourth I'm celebrating my own independence day by myself if I come across one who has maintained and resurrected their personal independence, then we will share a moment of communion and we will celebrate it any day of the year and any moment of the day when we encounter each other or read of someone who is doing so a great sacrifice to their personal reputation, power, and money. There are some like this. But now, as I see the morning mist, alone shall I be if I persist. 
God did not intend that we should be led around by others, allowed ourselves to be thrown into the fire of greed, ignorance, desire for comfort, desire for belief, and to stay asleep in the blissful dream. We celebrate in a dream. I celebrate my personal independence day of some time ago. I won't be out in the street in a parade. I won't be giving myself an award for my accomplishments. My celebration, my celebration is simply a record of my passing through this moment. And now, it is passing and I go on taking my abilities and my developed capacity that is if I don't fall asleep what I have I have because it is mine. And what, what I have, I am. And that is sufficient. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day.